Hundreds of questions still must be answered after a devastating mudslide wiped out a large portion of one local cemetery. Today, a group, including people from the Historical Preservation Society, got a firsthand look at the Mount Zion devastation. 7 News reporter Jake McGlumphy was there and shares how those involved are working to recover from a devastating blow. You can't believe the destruction caused at Mount Zion Cemetery in Wheeling until you see it. On Friday, a historical preservation group from Charleston and a cemetery restoration company were at the scene to help gather information on how to restore what was once a beautiful place. After the heavy rainfall in the Ohio Valley last week, several areas experienced mudslides, but none of them compared to this one. Charles Yaki, the president and a volunteer at the cemetery, estimates about 100 to 150 tombstones were broken or moved throughout the cemetery as the mudslide took its own course. In that mess there, they're in pieces. You know, some of these stones were real tall and they had four different sections to them while well, they're scattered everywhere. After seeing the pictures online, West Virginia delegate Sean Fluharty decided to reach out to Yaki. He says he understands when natural disasters like this happen, there are people in the community that are heavily impacted and deserve help. These are families here, and this is tragic for those families involved. We have hundreds of veterans who are buried here. This is important to the state of West Virginia. It's important to Wheeling and the Northern Panhandle. So if it's important to them, it's important to me as well. Fluharty says right now they are simply gathering information from different groups on what occurred and what steps are necessary moving forward. He says the biggest challenge will be seeing what funding they can get from different municipalities. We're at that point now, whether it's a state level, county level, federal level, let's get everybody together and see what we can do to restore this area. And again, look, this is more than just people picking up a few shovels. You see the enormity of this project, and this is going to take a lot of manpower. It's going to take a lot of resources, and we're going to do our best to make that happen. As of now, the cemetery is closed to public access, and if anyone is caught walking around the mudslide, they could be arrested. The thing we're looking for is safety. That is the big thing. Nobody's gotten hurt, killed over this, and that's the way we want to be. In terms of when it will all be cleaned up, Yaki says it could take up to two years or even longer. Reporting in Wheeling, I'm Jake McGlumphy, working for you. Thank you, Jake. Now, if you'd like to make a donation to the cemetery to help them in their recovery efforts, you can visit our website.